Hi everybody, it's Carlin, and as promised, I am going to show you some things that I have picked up for my planner. Um, I've picked these up gradually, actually before I even ended up taking the plunge and ordering the plum paper planner. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I knew that I had wanted to get back into um, using a planner again, so I just have been accumulating things as I've seen them on sale. Um, Anyhow, so let's go ahead and get started. This I actually did just pick up at Michael's. Um, I had stopped up there. Just a second, let me see if I can make this brighter. There we go. I had stopped up there um, just recently for the first time in a long time. And this little set comes in a little holder that has the spot that tears the tape off. So, um... I liked that it had all these colors as well. Sorry. I'm trying to record with my computer today, and it's the middle of the day, and it's super sunny. I'm by a window, um, but the light is being crazy. So hopefully this is showing up okay. Um, but anyhow, so I picked this up. These I picked up quite a while ago. It's a set of skinny washi tape. Actually, all seven of these. Is there seven? Yes. All eight of these, sorry, came in a pack for $1 at the dollar store. Now, they don't have very much on each one of them, but that's okay. Um, so, look for those. They were on an end cap, kind of in a weird spot at Dollar Tree. So, check those out if you're near Dollar Tree. That was probably, whoops, and there they all fell. That was probably a month ago. These I picked up off Amazon. It is the friction markers. Um, I've seen reviews for them, wanted to try them. I've used them a little bit, and so far I've really liked them. I have not, however, used them in my planner. Um, I had got them to use on stickers, but you have to use permanent markers on the stickers I'm going to show you. So um, I've just been using them for other things, but I love the friction line. Friction, however you say that. And these are Sweet Stamp Shop. Um, I don't even know how I ran across these, but the, this company carries several sets, and I love them. Um, I just used, I finally put ink to paper. Sorry about my kids. I finally put ink to paper last night for the first time in my new planner, and I used these. I used two different sets. Um, and I loved them. This one is called Plan Every Day. You can see all the little icons and words in there. And they're real small, so it works well. And then this one is called Plan Summer. And I've used quite a bit of that already. This one I have not used yet, but my daughter is starting pre-K in the fall at the local school. So I know I'm going to be using this. This is called Plan School. And I'm sorry it's so dark. I'm trying. Um... But you can pick these up at their website. They were very reasonably priced and the shipping was not bad. And again, it's from sweetstampshop.com. Okay, now for some stickers. These are ones that I had already had that came in a set. I don't know where I got them from. Girls! Sorry, my children are crazy. This is why I have not filmed a video in like almost a year. Um, and these stickers are just from like Walmart or something for 97 cents, I think. So really inexpensive and really small, which is nice. Hopefully those are showing up. They're kind of like shimmery. These I just picked up at Dollar Tree the other day, so they should still have them. And they had a bunch of different ones, but I picked these ones up specifically because I liked that there was space to be able to write on them. And they have the days of the week and then a blank one down here. These I just picked up at Michael's with that washi tape. I liked the size of these. And then they have bigger ones on the back. And it's a big pack. It says 150 pieces. I think there's like probably 10 sheets in here and it was 
And the last thing from Michaels that I just picked up, this was two or three dollars. I think it was $2.99 and it has four full sheets in it, but I like that it had a good variety of stuff on here. Um, and it specifically says it's four planners, as you can tell, because it has like appointment, don't forget, to do, you know, all kinds of different things that I liked. And then I ordered a while ago when I was thinking about getting into, you know, doing all the fun planning stuff. Um, Libby and Company stickers. If you have not heard for, of her company, check it out because these stickers are an awesome quality. They're like a, I don't know how to describe it. See how it's like shiny? You have to write with a permanent marker on it. And can I reach behind me to get this? Yes. Um, this is what I've been using. Oh, show up. Uh, okay, the Big Market. Um, and this is in the Ultra Fine Point. And this um, works on it. But I tried other things and it didn't work. <laughs> So I got this camping set because we do camp in the summer quite a bit. This was the freebie set for May. So she'll come, or June? June. So she'll come out with a new one every month, I guess. And then these are all Lib Libby's Littles, which is like a miniature version, I guess, of stickers that she sells in the larger size. I didn't realize how tiny they were going to be. So, um... Just a forewarning, they're very small, but they, they work for what I'm using them for. So this I'm using to mark birthdays in my planner. This I'm using to mark when I need to water, which I originally got this thinking that it was a good idea, but realistically you have to water every single day, water your flowers every day. So I don't know. We'll see if I end up using these for something else. Um... Taking the trash out, I got these because my husband travels a lot for work, and I never remember when he's out of town to take the trash out, so I'm hoping that this helps me to remember, because our trash nights are switched recently, so I can't get it in my head. These I definitely am going to get the bigger size of. They are supposed to be little grocery bags with food, but they're so small that you can't really tell what they are. And these little teeny ducks I'm using to mark baths bath nights for my kiddos which in the summer they get a bath every night but in the winter their skin gets so dry that I can't bathe them every night so I'm using these to track that. These I love they say reminder and they're a good size you can see them beside my thumb there um, to just like jot a little you know reminder appointment or whatever I really like them and I love the rainbow color and this is not the littles this is like the regular size the anchors I love um, again these are regular size not the littles um, these I'm using to track our boat days so that when I go back to do um, scrapbooking or project life and I'm going through pictures, I can remember approximately when we went, and I'm going to make notes with washi tape with who we went with, if that makes sense, um, out on the boat. Because we invite people out on the boat, and it's hard to keep track of who we told what dates. So I'll show you how I'm tracking that in the planner. And then these bill dues, um, I love. It leaves you space to write what bill it is. Um, and it fits the exact length for the monthly spread. So that's everything that I wanted to show you. Oh, and with Libby and Co, follow her Instagram, and it's literally this. Like it's. Oh, here we go. Her her Instagram is that the Libby and Co, um, because she posts every now and again like a sale or free shipping or something like that. So follow along with that. Yeah. Okay, so last night I finally put pen to paper. I'm going to show you. Karis is saying hi. Um, show you how I use some of the stickers and different things. Um, so 
You can see on the 4th of July, I put one of those little stars from Walmart, or you can get them from Michael's too, and put a barbecue note beside it. And in the weekly spread, I'm going to write the date and what I need to bring for that. Or the date, the time, I'm sorry. Down here, I marked the balloons, and beside it, I wrote um, my sister-in-law's birthday as a reminder. Um, I have... My oldest has two appointments coming up at two separate places, so I put appointment with a little green dot, and then I'm going to use a green dot again over in the weekly spread, um, which I have not done yet, but I'm going to, to write the details of the appointment, time, location, all that. This is bill due, that's my student loans, um, but see how it fits perfectly in the monthly spot? I really liked that. And then let's go over here so I can show you what I was talking about with the boat. Oh, and that green piece of washi tape, that was over here. Okay, that starts over here um, to mark our camping trip. Um, one of the camping trips we have coming up. So it's three days. Um, but I started it by stamping the camping and the little lantern and then the washi tape denotes that it's the length of the trip is the three days i have another bill due and then see that little anchor i put it between two days and then on the washi tape i wrote the last name of the family that's going to be going with us i put it between two days because we're not sure what of which of those two days it's going to be and sorry you see little hands down there with her little bag former things playing um so this is just a really simple start. I only had a little bit to work on it last night, so I'm not going to be one of those people that does, like, all kinds of crazy decorating and all of that stuff. Um, I just like the stickers to be able to, to draw my attention to a date. Um, and then I love, as you can see, the stamps to remind me of, you know, different things like appointments or camping trip or whatever, so... Um, oh, as far as with the stamps, I'm using the Stamping Up Archival Black Ink Pad. You can use any black ink pad, but I really like this one. I tried a different one, and it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. So, there's that. Oh, sorry about my one painted thumbnail. I was trying to see if I liked the color um, when I was at... The store running some errands yesterday um, and then I also use different sizes of blocks um, this one works great which is Stampin' Up! block G um, and then here's another really little one that works really well this is Stampin' Up! block B and then there's also a little teeny tiny one and I don't remember the letter for it but you can get those in ink pad um, in any color ink pads um, I just decided to use black because I'm using colored stickers, but you can use any color ink pads. You can get those on my online store and the link for that is down below. So hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions at all, um, please feel free to leave a comment below or you can email me and my email is in the description. Have a good day.